Good morning, everybody. I'm happy to welcome you to our fifth annual symposium on artificial intelligence and disruptive technologies. So we chose Austin as a location for this event because there's hardly a more disruptive city in a more disruptive state than Austin, Texas. You know, it's a state that, that has been a disruptor for most, most of its existence. It was, a, it was a, it declared independence from Mexico back in the 1836. It operated as an independent nation for a period of time and then joined the Union in the, in the 1840s. So today, Austin is a global, major global technology hub. High profile companies are here. We've got companies like Google and Facebook and Apple is building a billion dollar campus. There's actually a flight, a uh, regular shuttle flight called the Nerdbird that goes from Austin to San Francisco and Silicon Valley uh, every day. So we hope you're able to really get out and appreciate the city and all of its eclectic uh, nuances over the, over the next couple of days. So the use of AI is exploding. It's accelerating quickly. There's hardly any part of our lives that artificial intelligence does not touch. Uh, it enables many of the devices, many of the, uh, the software that we're working with on a daily basis, and it's accelerating at a, at a very, very fast pace. So we believe that if we, if, if, if the business community is not adopting and scaling AI fast enough, we won't remain competitive. So what are the big factors that companies are seeking when they're, when they're looking at AI and, and using AI? It's growth. It's improving quality. It's driving productivity, doing more with less. And it's also mitigating risk. So AI has you know, absolutely massive applications, but there's really three big ideas around what AI is being used for. One is insights. So AI can be used to uh, extend data and analytics to, uh, to unbelievable proportions. You're, you're able to understand more about uh, our world, what's happening. You're able, we're able to uh, get information on patterns that were just previously impossible to understand. So AI is able to give us insights into the future and into our daily lives in a way that we haven't seen before. This gives companies a, a better ability to understand its customers, to understand the market to be able to be much more effective in developing products and, and services. AI is also used for augmentation. And this is a, this is a human machine interface uh, type of working with AI. We're seeing this today with virtual assistants, being able to extend the knowledge of an enterprise to each individual customer to, or to each individual employee or augment reality, using your camera phone to uh, overlay information by using computer vision, which is AI. Uh, th this, is, this is revolutionary in terms of how we relate with technology. And then the third big area is full-on automation. So this is where we see self-driving cars as the most obvious example, but many more forms of automation are taking place in the software. Software itself is becoming much more autonomous and able to really lift the burden of mundane, repetitive tasks off of a workforce and allow that workforce to do more creative, innovative, strategic activities. We also want to talk a little bit about some of the new technologies that are, that are emerging quickly. And they're all related. So 5G, this is, if, for those of you that don't know, 5G is a revolutionary change in wireless speed, wireless bandwidth. Uh, you know, the first generation of 5G is estimated to be up to 20 times faster than the fastest bandwidth we have today. And this unlocks massive opportunities in factories with Internet of Things or connected devices, the ability to send and receive information from one machine to another. Uh, unleashing uh, smart factories and cities and the healthcare applications are just absolutely mind-blowing. 
the ability to do remote surgeries a continent away. Uh, you know, the, 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 the 5G capabilities and the 5G technologies are emerging quick. There are a lot of challenges that we have to overcome. Uh, there's spectrum challenges here in the U.S. There's geopolitical challenges with regard to who controls 5G. And there's, there, there, are, there are a lot of uh, issues that have to be worked through before 5G will be uh, a reality. One of the most exciting areas is blockchain. And blockchain is going to change how business is done, change how we transact and interact with our suppliers, with our customers. Uh, it, it will change the operating models of the business. The, the way we have done transactions in the past have been set up in a pretty inefficient way. Blockchain will allow us to, to do business in a totally new with a totally new model. So we've got great speakers and great discussions that are gonna take place around blockchain, and we're really excited about that. Some big questions that we want to work through over the next couple of days. Ethics, how do we build AI to mirror our values? How do we build AI in a way that is not biased and it reflects the decisions that we want our technology to, to make on our behalf? AI is only as good as how we build it and the data we give it. So how do we encode the, the, the ethics and the values into that technology so that we can trust it? How do we ensure that the technology itself is compliant with rules and laws and regulations? Privacy is a massive concern uh, around the world and there are increasing penalties that governments and, and uh, political organizations are enacting on companies that can't comply. And transparency, how do we trust the technology? How do we show how a, a deep neural network is making its decisions? How do, how do we give confidence to, to the general public that, uh, that we are in control of artificial intelligence? And, uh, you know, as good as all of this stuff is, AI can get in the wrong hands and it can be weaponized. So how do we defend against scaled attacks from rogue states or criminal organizations to, that, that will use AI in a way that is not in our interest? To hack systems, to manipulate ideas, to, 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 uh, uh, to, to, cause, to cause mayhem. So how do we protect ourselves against AI as it gets in the wrong hands? So the next two days are going to be very, very fast paced. This conversation is about change and we are gonna be moving very quickly through, through these discussions. We've got an incredible roster of, uh, of talented speakers and uh, enterprises, business leaders, visionaries that are gonna be discussing their views on emerging technologies and artificial intelligence. Today is set up to be more about the what and the why. We wanna challenge our thinking. We wanna look at how we can address the changes that are taking place. So we'll hear from Microsoft, from IBM, Verizon, the Texas General Land Office. Tonight, we're gonna to go explore a little bit of Austin and tomorrow, we're gonna to shift gears and get into the how, making this stuff real. Uh, and what we want to give you are strategies that you can take back to your business and inform your business plans, inform your, your, your discussions with, uh, with your business leaders.